Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see annealing, heat treatment process, and its advantages. Our flagship course is Master Static Equipment Design and PV Elite and Master Welded Storage Tank as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform on scutoid.thinkific.com. What are the different types? So like annealing, normalizing, quenching, tempering, solution annealing, and then post welding treatment. Let us start with annealing. Okay. And please listen to it very carefully. I'm going to uh, you know, give some basic points which will be helpful to understand even other heat treatment processes. Okay. So now this is a temperature line. One side you can see this is the here we have kept temperature. This side time. Okay. Now, based on temperature, you know, there is a lower critical temperature and upper critical temperature for a material. If you remember iron carbon diagram, don't worry, we'll don't go in much detail in the iron carbon diagram, but all these are finely linked to that, right? So this is actually lower critical temperature, and for a typical carbon still. It will come as 723. Even for, you know, if you see the iron carbon diagram, for this line is very constant. Even if you keep on increasing the percentage of carbon, you will get that critical temperature 723. Okay. But this is, these carbon still not having any other alloying element. If you add, it may alter. Okay. But don't be worried about that. Just there is a critical temperature. And what exactly is the critical temperature? Okay, but before that, let us understand this. Before critical temperature, what we see is the recrystallization temperature zone. Okay, if you can see this blue color which I have drawn, that is the recrystallization temperature. It starts roughly for carbon or low carbon still at around 500, 550 degrees Celsius. And the materials start to recrystallize. Okay, the crystal. Uh, formation starts happening based on time it will keep on happening for across the thickness right so this is the zone the blue color which you see is the recrystallization temperature once we go to critical temperature then the material becomes it changes its uh, nature and it becomes from sometimes from alpha to gamma like you know akas has seen so lots of material will behave differently, but don't, you know, so critical temperature you can consider is a line where you know, the first temperature line after that material will drastically change its nature, its properties. Okay. So that is your lower critical temperature. Upper critical temperature is around 900 degrees Celsius. I'm talking about low carbon still. So if you remember these values, it will help when we talk about different heat treatment process. So we'll come to know that which temperature, which heat treatment process is linked. Okay. So now what we have right now is recrystallization temperature. This is the recrystallization temperature zone. Okay. Then we have lower critical temperature. After that, material will change its properties. And again, upper critical temperature where that material will further change to next property zone okay so these are the three critical temperature lines around which our material behavior will be varying okay now let us talk about the first heat treatment which is annealing so if we talk about annealing, let me just clear it. Yeah. So annealing, actually annealing is not a final heat treatment process. Whenever you see annealing, we do as an intermediate heat treatment. Okay. After that, either you'll have to do uh, tempering or you no. Know, like it's if you have to do machining and uh, the material. Property is not very good for machining. 
so we do annealing and your machinability will be much better and you can do machining so it's kind of intermediate uh, heat treatment process we you, you will never see this heat treatment process normally for you know uh, carbon steel material okay so what we do in annealing we heat we start heating that material and we are very around 50 to 100 degrees celsius lower than the critical temperature the lower critical temperature we are not crossing that temperature line which changes its properties which changes the property of our material so we are not crossing that okay we are well within the lower critical temperature so the annealing process is below your lower critical temperature that is what we have to remember that lower temperature lower critical temperature which is at around 723 degrees celsius this annealing process which we do is below so material property will not change drastically but it will add lots of benefit okay we'll see what benefits we are going to have okay the second very important thing now see the soaking band for every Heat treatment process that will depend upon the thickness so how much time we have to keep at that temperature so that complete transformation of material whatever was desired happened and then you cool down okay now the cooling is also very important sometimes we do cooling in normal air in annealing you have to remember that we do cooling in furnace so whenever we do annealing, we do annealing in furnace cooling. Okay, so the cooling will be done in furnace. So it is a controlled, controlled environment where we do the annealing finally. Okay, what we get out of these heat treatment, the annealing, is it produces very refined grain. Okay, the grain structure becomes very smooth. What is the desired output because of that? your material becomes very soft and ductile very neat very uniform you know if we talk about hardness hardness will become very uniform so you will not see lots of variation in the hardness okay it will improve your ductility okay so ductility will improve hardness will become uniform and the surface whatever hardness if you have accumulated it will become low you know it will decrease that hardness of that surface okay so that is one added advantage okay machinability like we discussed that it will increase the even if you are observing that during the formation you know, the forming of that material like if you want to make a shell or addition and the material is cracking okay so if we do annealing you the material will become more formable it will become more machinable okay so these are the added advantage we get with annealing okay so whatever structural imperfections are there that also can be improved okay internal stresses like it acts as a stress living so if any internal stresses are locked that also can be reduced so it relieves it relieves the internal stresses developed in the material okay for in-depth training and to learn more about these courses register with the link in the description